Okay. Uh, this morning, or, well, it's actually not morning, but you don't know that. Uh, I have an under, under cabinet radio that belongs to my mother-in-law. And the CD, CD mechanism has given out on it. This is deeply concerning to my cat, as you can tell. Um, specifically, the laser is possibly not working, or I think it's not working. And I ordered a replacement unit. Yes, you can still get them. No, seriously, you can. And uh, I received it several weeks ago. And uh, it arrived broken. And I had to request my getting my money back and uh, ordered another one from a different seller and that one spent a ridiculous amount of time getting here and it just arrived and it's not exactly correct. It has this piece of plastic here, which is easy to remove, but it also has a different head on it, and so it lo looks like I'm going to have to swap that out. fire up soldering gun, soldering iron. Oh. The one I requested looked just like the one I already have and because it was it'll take for freaking ever if I complain about it to get the correct one we'll have to make this one work. Always got to make this difficult. Okay. Let's see if they did the same. Oh, they did. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Okay. Um, okay. They put a hole in here to get to the screws on this motor, which is good because this 
belongs to my mother-in-law and she actually wanted to have me repair it if I could and silly me I thought you know I could get the parts quickly and Without, actually, I didn't think I could get anything uh, when I was trying to order this. When I went looking for this, I was really shocked that uh, I was able to find the correct unit. Apparently, these are very common. The original one was made by Sanyo, and this is, as usual, it's probably some cheap uh, Chinese knockoff it looks exactly like the Sanyo one There's polarity marks on here. There's a positive, negative, and there's a red mark next to the positive one. I'm going to be shocked if this works. I mean, seriously, I've been. It's been quite a while since I ordered it. If it requires some kind of an alignment or adjustment, I have no equipment or no information on how to do that. Um, service manual for this is unobtainium. I dropped one of the screws, but that's okay, I got extras. Excellent. That screws don't match. This looks like a job for a magnet. Oh, there it is. not it but that is <clears throat> yeah my cat is wanting to be petted apparently it is petting time Since these seem to be matched, a better. Oh, here comes trouble. All right. Uh, one thing to note on these is that right here. There is a little blob of solder. Yeah, let me get some more light in here. There's a little blob of solder right there. And when I'm done, that has to be removed or else the laser won't work. Um, its purpose is to 
um, protect the diode from static discharge. Supposedly, these laser diodes are extremely susceptible to static when they're out of circuit. When the last one was sent, I attempted to make it work, even though what had happened was this circuit board, it had been, the whole thing had been badly packaged, and this circuit board was just broken in about four places. And so I tried taking the circuit board out of the original one and putting it in there, and that required a lot of very fine soldering and for the most part it didn't really work. Um, it wasn't saying that there was no CD. It was saying uh, read error or error and wouldn't go any further. All right. <sighs> I'd be shocked if this works. truth here. First we hook everything up and then we desolder. Okay, mob connection is broken. And don't forget to solder these. Oh boy. That's a good promising sign. That's it. <sighs> Excellent. All right. Now I get to put it back together. Get rid of power. Right. Oh, bloody hell. I know where they are. Be back. Okie dokie. Um, 
Yeah, I had to go out and get the, the screws. I had them out in my shed where I normally do these videos. But I will. Uh, <clears throat> Just a second. All right, we're back. Uh, as I may have stated, stated earlier, um, I ordered this off eBay. It's a common unit. Um, they're sold on eBay. I will have or will po post um, The model number. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that they are dependent on the number of pins on this ribbon. This cable that goes in here. Oh boy. There we go. This cable here. There's a 15 pin and a 16 pin version. This radio uses the 16-pin uh, version. And as you've seen, they apparently come with different styles of spindles. And I had to get, I, it's a good thing the old motor worked, because I can now, because I could use that to fix it. front back on Is there enough screws on this? I you'd think this thing was going to get away. I mean, seriously, what do we got? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, was it? Yeah, this thing, this might escape.
Oh, now what? Okay. Uh, I ended up having to take everything apart again. And uh, initially I suspected that the spindle was off and it was, well, let me explain why I'm even telling you this. Uh, it was skipping. It was playing, but it would get to certain parts and then it would skip or uh, repeat or something like that. And initially I thought it was because the shaft was bent or out of, <clears throat> out of you know, off balance. Um, so I swapped out the motor, the original motor, which I put in the new unit with uh, the new motor in the one that had been broken and there was some vibration with the original one I put in here but uh, that went away or wasn't as bad with the second one but it still skipped and what I ended up doing and I was reading some information online that says you're not supposed to do this but didn't really have any choice um, right here here is a little adjustment and what I did was mark where it was and then I moved it just a tiny little bit in one direction and this was with power off turned it back on uh, started playing it would get to this certain spot and it would skip uh, so I turned it off and then I moved it back to the middle and then moved it over in the other direction just a tiny itty bitty little bit and uh, so I've got it here as a, a disc with some royalty free music according to YouTube so if I get a strike on this it's I'm going to be irritated with YouTube uh, so let's turn this on and I'll point out the point at which it would uh, skip. It's coming up here. It's right in here. Oh, bugger. Again, could be there was interference from the from the lights. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test this a number of times before I button it up and see if it's doing it and I'll get back to you. Okay, uh, 
so I think I got to the bottom of what was happening with this thing. Um, the uh, the damn thing had not been lubricated. There's a bar here, and it apparently had no lubrication on it at all. It was dry as a bone, and so when this is sliding back and forth, it was sticking. Um, and then this gear here, this also hadn't been lubricated, so I put some white lithium grease on it and just a couple of drops along here and then cycled it back and forth and I've been testing it now with this YouTube um, royalty free music and so far it hasn't skipped once of course having said that it'll probably skip right as soon as uh, I say this but um, if it makes it what I say? Huh? I've been listening to it for the last five, ten minutes, and not a single skip. And what did it do? Damn it! Oh. I still think it's a lubrication issue. May have to cycle it back and forth again and hit it with some more oil. That's it. Oh, and, uh, I've requested from Philips, they still have this listed on their website, I have this, I've requested from Philips for the service manuals, I don't think they'll give it to me, but we'll find out.